Uh, the crowd are pleased to see you, and I am. This is a, this is a, this is a great honour. For you, Mr. O'Connor, or for me? <laughs> <laughs> it's an honour for me, Sir Robin, to have a, a man of, of such distinction as yourself on the show. Well, it is Christmas time, and we want a classless society, so I'm trying to help the unfortunate. <laughs> I'd be much happier if you would think about calling me Dez. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, could we get on with the interview? I'd be happier if we could do that, Les. Yeah, but... Dez. <laughs> I, don't want, I don't want to interview you. You want me to interview you? What would I interview you about? Well, I mean, Sir Robin, let me explain. What, what I'm really interested in is if could I could... Could you get to the point, please? Yeah. Les. Yes. I'm very anxious to, to give the show a more distinguished look. I can well understand your anxiety. <laughs> I've, uh, I've heard an awful lot about your singing. I've heard a lot about your awful... I've heard an awful, an awful lot about your singing. Look, I'm, I'm told you have a pleasing and pleasant singing. Voice. Absolute balderdash. I only sing in my bath. Yeah, well, you're actually much too modest. Oh, that has always been my trouble, I know. <laughs> But are you too modest on a Christmas evening to sing a duet with me? But, but I don't just sing with anybody, Les. Des. <laughs> we have here a 30-piece, Sir Robert, a 30-piece orchestra assembled especially for us. The recording company will be very disappointed if A recording is. company? Yes, you'd go right to the top of the charts. What, with your name on the label? <laughs> but what about it? As Margaret Thatcher says, no, no, no. All right, I'm getting there. Okay, I'll just, well, thank you very much, and I'll just have to call someone else, like, um, I don't. Ludwig Kennedy. <laughs> yes. I think you're a very nice chap. Your show is, your show is getting better every moment. Yes. And, and I would, on second thoughts, like to sing a duet with you, if, if, I, if you can find a song that you know that well, I can I sing. I know you like, you like Flanagan and Allen. Well, I've heard of them. Uh, Colin, could you, could you, and this is Mr. Colin Keyes, my musical director. Oh, is he your musical director? Yes. I'm, well, bad luck, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to do Flanagan and Allen, there's only one way to rub in. You can do it, right? And God, the, it's hot in it here. It is hot. And the song we're going to do, plus the verse, right? A the what? verse? You, you're good with the verse? Have you got the verse? The verse, yes. Underneath the artist. Oh. Um, Maestro, take it away. Let's see. You first. The Ritz we never sighed for. The Carlton they can keep. There's only one place that I know. And that is where we sleep. Underneath the arches. We dream our dreams away. Just got back from a rodeo show. Yeah, we could do that. Down in Arizona where the Batman are. Tell us. The only big guy to is the evening star. The roughest, toughest man by far. His ragtime cowboy Joe. He always sings. Rack and music to the cattle and the swing. 
Back and forth in the saddle on a horse. On a horse. Cause it's incompetitive, Katie. But the sun's a funny meter from the roar of his repeater. How we run, how we run. When they hear the fellas come, because the Western folks all know. And they know. He's a highfalutin' who can shoot from some of the gun from Arizona. Ragtime cowboy. I talk about a cowboy. A ragtime cowboy job. There you are. That's not bad, is it? Thank you very much. The Robin Dash. Come back in a couple of minutes. The Robin Dash.